Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through most of the article here. There's a link in the description. Um, I'll start off by giving you an overview. It is quite possible that you're aware of this case already. Uh, I think it's quite well publicized. Um, and the story is still ongoing, perhaps. Um, towards the end, we'll see that the police still do have some question marks. Uh, the investigation is not over. But look, thankfully, this is a good news story by and large. It's in regards to the three-year-old little boy that you see in front of you. His name, if I pronounce it correctly, is Riker Webb. And he went missing for two days in rural Montana. Uh, it turns out that he went for a walk on his own. And he ended up lost and scared. And uh, he saw a shed. He slept in the shed. That's how he survived, by staying in the shed. It was like a... Uh, a log cabin type shed and uh, thankfully a couple that went to their cabin their holiday cabin in the area uh, they heard a little noise from the shed where they keep the generator so they went to investigate and they found this little boy here cold scared but alive uh, so they found him, they called the police, and uh, the deputy sheriff came. And the deputy sheriff described young Ry Riker Webb as being very, very scared. Which, of course, you would be as a three-year-old boy, lost. There were thunderstorms throughout the period. There are mountain lions and bears in the area. Forgive my facetiousness, but he looks very, very scared. Eyes wide open. Couldn't get much wider open. But uh, look, thankfully he's been found safe. And he's going to get all of the medical treatment that he requires, I'm quite sure. Uh, this happened, uh, he went missing on Friday afternoon. He was found Sunday afternoon, roughly two miles from his home. In a small town of Troy in northwestern Montana. Um, now if you're a city boy like me, two miles isn't that far. Uh, it's not that far at all really. But, uh, you know, in a rural area, when you're a little three-year-old with little legs, uh, two miles um, in treacherous terrain is really very far indeed. Um, so he was discovered by a family that was checking on their cabin, uh, as I say, and he was described as being extremely scared. Um, and, of course, fully relieved uh to be found uh to be saved uh by the cabin owners and by the police officers um he says that he the the, the young boy Riker says that he went for a walk and then he got tired and uh he was excited to be reunited with his parents now as i say there is a little bit of a twist to the story potentially and that is the authorities want to know why Riker's parents waited at least two hours before reporting young Riker as missing. I'm not a parent. What would you do if you're a parent and your three-year-old went missing uh, for two hours? What are you going to do? Are you going to panic about that? Are you going to call the police officers or are you going to wait a little longer? I don't know. I, don't, I, re I honestly don't know. Two hours is a long time. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But that is something that is being investigated. The police feel that that is too long. I'm going to show you this other picture here. It's the same picture, but like an extended view. Um, I mean, forgive me, he looks scared stiff and he looks frozen stiff. But thankfully, he's alive. Thankfully... He's getting all of the attention that he needs. Um, he's alive. He's happy. He's going to be with his family. He he's sounded happy to be reunited with his family. So I would hope that he does come from a good family home. Um, and uh, that, that will be something that the authorities will look into at this stage. If it turns out that he isn't, I'm sure the authorities will take action in regards to that. Um 
He is a healthy boy, although of course he was very hungry, very thirsty, and very cold. Um, and that's pretty much all we know. So look, uh, an interesting story. Uh, this three-year-old boy wandered off for a little bit of a walk, and he bit off a little bit more than he could chew. But thankfully, he had the forethought to stay in a log cabin, uh, and he was able to do that for two nights, two days, two nights. Um, and thankfully, he's going to be reunited with his parents, and he's nice and safe and well. Um, but yeah, there we go. If you value this content, if I do a half-decent job on this video, and indeed with the other videos on my channel, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. I love your comments. Uh, you might want to buy me a coffee, like you might want to buy this young man a coffee. He's too young for coffee. I'm not. I'm allowed coffee. You can buy me a coffee at the uh, ko-fi.com link that you'll see in the description. You don't have to, by the way, but uh, if you want to, that would be much appreciated. Um, but I'm going to thank you for your time. I might make a couple more videos before I call it a day this evening. But I am hoping to continue with this trend of pumping out multiple videos every day uh, of this type of topic. And I really do appreciate your comments, guys. Uh, you guys are lovely. And I really want to maintain that um, the, the comments be between you and I and also between yourselves. Um, I think the viewers of this channel are really great people, are very kind, caring, genuine people. Um, and I feel like it's a really nice community kind of thing. Maybe it's not quite a community. I don't know, is it a community? Because we're not meeting up to have a nice little chit chat kind of thing. And that's something I wanna work on. Anyway, I've gone on, on too much of a ramble there. I'll thank you for your time and uh, take care.